Hey, it's Seth with Prudent Canine Training, and I just wanted to provide an update to my tools I use videos. And in this one, I want to cover the dominant dog collar, also called the snap around collar. Uh, and I have one with me here. We have on the one end the swivel snap, on the other end, we have a fixed ring. And then in between, we have the floating ring. Um, so to actually use this, you're gonna attach the swivel snap uh, to the floating ring on the other side. And then you'll have this uh, in this position on the dog's neck. And then when you need to apply a correction, you just have your leash attached to the fixed ring and then you just apply the pressure upward. And then in doing so, uh, this will apply pressure to the dog's neck and it, it restricts the airflow uh, when you apply that correction upward. Uh, so you wanna make sure uh, so that this tool works properly, that you fit it to the dog that you're working with. Uh, they come in different sizes, so you just want to measure and make sure you're using the right collar size so that it sits exactly where you set it. You don't want this to slide around on the dog's neck. It needs to sit exactly in the spot you put it, right behind the dog, dog's jaw, high on the neck, so that when you need to use it, it's in the right position to, uh, to work as intended to restrict the airflow when you're de-escalating a dog um, from a heightened state of arousal. Uh, and to continue with that, the purpose is to de-escalate these dogs that are aggressive, uh, dangerous, explosive, uh, not for your everyday dogs that um, respond very well to martingales, prongs, e-collars, not for those dogs. This is for your aggressive dogs uh, that are really a bite risk, that it can be dangerous, that uh, when ramped up, when they become explosive, could harm others. and require a means to de-escalate them that the other tools just don't provide. Um, in certain cases, you may have a, an explosive dog, a dangerous, aggressive dog that actually gets even more ramped up um, from the other tools that we have. So like a correction from a prong collar or an e-collar may actually take the dog even higher than they were already um, at. So their, their state of arousal could shoot even higher up when you try to uh, address that um, with uh, other tools. So this physically, this dominant dog collar, physically uh, provides us a way to de-escalate those, those types of dogs that uh, really require it. Um, when, when you're applying that correction, you're uh, applying that pressure directly up. You're going to restrict the airflow of the dog. Uh, when the dog settles and kind of submits to the correction that you're giving it, that's when you release the pressure. You want the dog to submit to the correction that you're giving. Um, and so that's the goal of this, uh, this tool. Um, and used, like I said, only for the aggressive dogs, the ones that really need it. You're not using this on your other dogs, your softer dogs that apply, that respond well to uh, the other tools that we have available to us. We're using the tool that makes the most sense for the dog that we're working with, the dog that's in front of us. Uh, we wanna use the tool that works for that given dog. Uh, so this is not for every dog, this is for specific dogs that require it. So in saying that, I also wanna advise you all to work with a professional if you're in a scenario where you need this, uh, this uh, tool. Because when you apply this, the correction using the dominant dog collar, you're going to have a dog that's m most likely going to going to want to redirect. Um, so that could lead to bites to other dogs or the or the handler. Um, so you want to work with a professional that understands how to use the tool and how to keep everyone safe when uh, having to apply the correction. Uh, with this with this tool um, so that's a big caveat to this collar as as great as as it is um, we use it only in specific cases and it needs to be used um, with an understanding of how to use it and how to keep everyone safe um, so that uh, no one is harmed in the in the process of uh, using this tool to correct uh, some of the uh, kind of the worst uh, dog behaviors that are are around uh, the dangerous, explosive, uh, uh, 
uh, biting potential in, in some of our dogs that we work with. Um, so that's it. The dominant dog collar, snapper on collar, great tool when you need it.